Hi everyone, so I will go Google released a service called Android Device Manager which allows users to track their device, remotely wipe it, remotely set a walk screen password and also make it ring in case it is somewhere lost nearby. So in this video we are going to do a test of all of these features, going to see how they work, how they function to give you a, a look at how it works. So let's start off by the basic requirements. You need to have the Google account logged in on your computer, tablet or phone or wherever you are going to be accessing the device manager website. In this case I'm going to use the tablet. You also need to have the same Google account logged in on the device you have lost, which is in my case the S4 mini. The next step is to have GPS on. Now this is only if you want to locate the device. So you can just enable this. Then you need to head into settings. Now this may vary on each device and Android version. In my case it is in more low, uh, security. And you need to look for an option device administrators. You basically need to head in here and you need to enable the Android device manager. You need to activate it like this to give it full rights to do the wipes and so on. Now that we have this enabled you may log in into the Android device manager website. You can now select the device which you want to track, which you want to wipe and so on. GTI 9195 is mine. So now to begin contacting your device, it should find the location of your device, whatever it is, it should find it as long as it has an internet connection and GPS on. And there you have it. Now we found the location, let's do a test of the features. We're going to make it ring, which is the first test. Now for this you need to have a ringtone. If your phone is set to silent, it won't ring. Just know that. So I'm going to do a test now and I'm going to make it ring. And as you can see, the phone is ringing. So if you have watched it somewhere in the room, in a crowded place and so on, you can easily find this by following the sound. To disable the sound, you basically just need to walk your phone and in the next unlock, the sound is gone. So this is quite basic as you can see. The next step, uh, the next feature which we're going to test is the walk. So now I'm going to walk it. You, you can walk it with the passwords. You can use uh, letters and digits. In my case, I'm just going to use digits. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Once you have set it, you walk it. And as, as you can see, the, the device immediately shuts off. It's not powered off, actually, but the screen goes off. And the next time you want to unwalk it, you can see that you now have a password. So if you type in a wrong password, it's obviously not going to let you in. So you need to type in the correct password in order to unlock the device. And finally, the most extreme action would be to remotely wipe the phone. So this is the last feature which I'm going to test and that is called Erase. So simply click on that, then confirm to Erase. At this point, the phone should power off and it's like a factory reset. The next time the phone powers on, it will go into the uh, setup wizard screen. Now this is basically if your phone has been stolen or if you cannot find it, you can just wipe it so that no other person can see your data, your saved images, your information, whatever you have valuable saved there, your login forms and so on. As you can see, this is currently performing a uh, factory reset to the phone. And there we go guys, as you can see. Uh, sorry about the low display, but as you can see, the phone is currently on the setup wizard screen. That means that the phone has been wiped remotely. Easy as that, as you can see. So yeah, that's pretty much it. These are the only features the Android Device Manager offers so far. This is one very useful service in my opinion. It really helps you track your phone in case you lost it or in case you want to delete all of the data inside it. This is what you need to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to see more videos, please subscribe. Once again everyone, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.